Welcome to Mikasa. Today we're doing a little update on my 1966 Yellowstone Cavalier. Um, I bought him six months, I say him because I named him Grandpa, but I bought it six months ago. And if you have been watching my journey, it's just been like one of the funnest projects I've done. And I just wanted to update you on some of the modifications that, um, I've kind of put together. So just putting this out here for anybody who's inspired to go off grid or get into a tiny home and start living on, you know, a smaller budget so you can have more money for travels and adventure. For such a tiny space, it's amazingly practical. The kitchen sink doubles as a breakfast bar and an office. So the one thing I was not going to live without was a shower and a toilet. So even though this was originally a closet, I kind of got a little creative and made this like really simple base type of um, shower tub and compost toilet. The bed can actually be a king size bed, but I like to utilize the space as much as possible. So I shortened it to a queen and it actually fits just right. Lots of storage underneath the booths and the bed converts into a dining table. Yeah, I'd say the coolest thing about this trailer is that it's basically already paid itself off. I mean, I've been calculating some of my road trips and the places that I've stayed overnight and, you know, just like comparing it to hotel rates. And I know this isn't like fully hooked up and, you know, I'm basically dry camping, so you can't really compare the two, but I'd say it's a great value, especially if you want to be staying near the ocean. I mean, this thing, for what I paid for it, it's definitely like broke even or at least paid itself off by now for sure. I said, oh, spirit guide us higher. You happy, baby? Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no, but you guys can't come out. Oh no. No, 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 Dude, get back in here. No, 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 no. Come on. Shit. He's getting all the good grass. 